Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Alicia and today's video is in collaboration with many other fabulous women here on YouTube. We are all bringing you some spring inspiration, whether that be spring cleaning, spring organizing, spring cooking, baking, all that fun stuff. I will leave the playlist down below. So once you are done watching my video, please go and check that playlist out. There's gonna be a lot of great content, so definitely go check it out. In my video today, I am doing a spring refresh. I'm not gonna be doing like an entire decorate with me. There's a couple areas of my house that I need to add some color to. Recently, we redid our kitchen cabinets. We painted them white and so while it looks very clean and bright in there, I want to add some more depth instead of making it just, it's kind of flat without any decorations right now. So I want to get some great color on the island and some color on my kitchen table. So I'm not going to do too much as far as decorating goes. So I'm just going to do those two areas. And then the other area I'm going to do is I have to have to do my entryway. My entryway is so bare right now. I definitely need some color out there. Now, I'm the kind of person that I don't wanna have a ton of decorations because I don't have a lot of room to just kind of store all this stuff. So what I'm purchasing is something that I need to take with me from spring to summer so that when it's fall time, that's when I can switch it all out. So this is kind of like a spring, summer, almost gonna be like my everyday home look essentially. So while this is a spring video, I think this is something that's just gonna take me through the summer as well. And maybe when summer comes, I might add in a few like touches of summer here and there. But basically I'm just trying to keep this decor as long throughout the year as I possibly can so I don't have to switch it out. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. I went to Kirkland's, Joann's, I went to Michael's and Target. So let me show you what I picked up and I have a few things from Amazon as well. And I forgot to mention the other thing I wanted to do as well is do a little bit of spring organizing. I'm gonna be cleaning and organizing our under the sink area in our master bathroom. Last summer, I believe, I cleaned out our kids slash guest bathroom under the sink area. And while that was a little messy, our area is a beast. Like it is a beast of a mess. You don't even, it's organized chaos because I know where everything is. Like if you were to go into my bathroom and open up my cabinets, you would be like, how does she know where anything is? but I do know where everything is. It's a catastrophe, basically. So I ordered a couple different um, shelving organizers, one from Target, one from Amazon, just so I could compare the two. I'm taking one, my husband's taking the other. All right, guys, so let me go show you what I picked up from all the stores. I put all of the new stuff um, that I picked up today in here. So I'm gonna start off down here, though. I found these mats. Now, I did order a customized mat from Etsy that is coming in but I saw these at Joann's and I thought, hello, this is seriously perfect. We're gonna try to figure out where to put these. And over here, I follow, oh, I can't remember what her name is. I'll link it down below her Instagram, but she has a lot of like decorating inspiration and she did, I think it was a winter patio decorating reel and she mentioned these planters. Now she got black like square small ones and I thought, okay, I need to get something for my front door that is brighter. These are like a, like a speckled white color and they're very, very lightweight. And you can actually put real, like real plants in here. There is a drainage hole down at the bottom. Super, super lightweight. Now these are gonna go into our entryway and I purchased some faux silk like trees that we're gonna put in here. And then we're just gonna kind of weigh it down with some brick and put some moss on top. So I think that'll look fantastic for our entryway because we need more greenery. Okay, then let's start over here. I got this tray. I think I'm gonna put this on our kitchen table along with a simple little flower arrangement. And I found these napkins at Kirkland's. Guys, I always forget to go to Kirkland's. I don't know why I forget, but I found these. I thought these were super, super cute. And I thought it would be great to place our napkins because we are a cloth napkin family. And so I thought this would be a great way just to kind of keep it all together in the middle of our kitchen table and then I could put our little family game that we like to play. I thought that would look really nice on the table. And then I picked up two candles from Kirkland's. Now I usually like to get my candles from Bath and Body Works, but um, these were calling my name. One was on clearance as well. So 
These are probably gonna go on the island. This is also from Kirkland's. I thought this was so, so cute. I'm gonna put this on our kitchen island. Right now, I currently have a white, like rustic looking tray on our island. I thought I would put this little arrangement on that tray along with, I'm still debating if what I'm gonna do. I figured, because of how many lemons we have on our tree right now, I thought that we could do a lemon display. I'm looking for more of a trifle dish because trifle bowls have more of an edge that kind of flare outwards, like slightly like that. So it would look a little nicer. I'm still debating if I want to get one or not or just try these out. So I am going to try these out first. These are from Target. And then I have this matte runner. So this is going to go in the front door of our patio and then the customized mat that um, should be coming in in the next week or so is just going to be placed on top of that. And I love this color. It's like a light gray color. Okay, so that is all that I have right now. Again, I'm just, I'll be showing you everything else that comes in as it comes in. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past so it doesn't look like a lot on my table and that's exactly what I want. I think this is exactly what this table needed. It needed to have a more organized look right here. I used to just put like the napkins just like on top like that and same with the game. So at least having it all in a contained area looks a lot nicer and more organized. Perfect basket for this. So then the kids can reach over and get their napkins. We have our table topic game and then a cute little floral decor element just to add some color. I mentioned that I needed to, that I was gonna put some lemons on our kitchen island. So let's go out to my tree. Let me show you how many lemons I have to work with. There are so many lemons. A little overcast out here today, but look at how many lemons I have. They look so, so pretty. All the lemon desserts for sure. All right, I'm gonna start picking some lemons to bring them inside. like I pulled absolutely nothing from my tree. I have a bowl full of lemons. So let's go back inside, wash these to make them presentable and decorate the I'm gonna give these lemons a quick rinse off, but I wanted to tell you that lemon tree, when we went and purchased it, it had a sticker on it that said it was a dwarf lemon, meaning it would only get between like eight to 10 feet or something. That is a lie. That is a full, dead-on, regular lemon tree <laughs> that is like insanely big. And we purchased it knowing that we were like, okay, if we got a dwarf tree, like that's gonna be a perfect amount of lemons for our family because we don't need like that many lemons. Luckily, our tree kind of grows over into our neighbor's um, yard, so they're able to take whatever they're able to take. And then sometimes we give a lot of lemons away to like friends and family. So I mean, it did work out for us in the end. And also it's great that now that we have so many lemons, I can use them for decorating. So it's, it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna go through this whole bowl, wash them really well, and I'll see you in one second.
maybe I'm not gonna get a trifle bowl after all. I like the way this looks because at first, when I bought this, I thought this vase was gonna be way too small next to this uh, arrangement. But if I get my lemons up above the rim, I think it's a perfect height with that arrangement. I think it looks really, really cute, really simple, but it adds more color against the white. Oh, also, I have this. This is new. This is from Target. I saw it and I thought, oh, this is so pretty. A kind of like a new springy summer addition to the kitchen. I think I love the way this looks. Here in my master bathroom, about to organize underneath the sink because it is, it's really bad. I've actually never organized it. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I lied. I tried one time and you will see based off of <laughs> under my sink, but my husband's sink is also a disaster. So let me show you what I'm working with and then I'm gonna show you the products that I picked up to help me organize. Dun dun! Yes, it is so bad. Now you can see right back there, there's a little pink cute organizer that I did try attempting to give life under here Clearly, it did not work, it did not hold up as well. You can see I have a ton of stuff in here. Some stuff I can get, get rid of for sure. A lot of this stuff though, not even gonna lie, I, I pretty much use. I love skincare products. I always make sure to purchase deodorant. I always use, I like this deodorant right here. It's Schmitz, it's a natural deodorant. So whenever it's on sale, I always try to stock up. So I have several of these guys underneath here, some fragrances. And back there, I have two hot curlers. I don't know why in the world I would need two, but I can definitely get rid of those. So I'm gonna organize under here. Let me take you over to my hubbies. I feel kind of bad for my husband because his side holds all the cleaning stuff and then this side is just like his everyday products. I could probably condense some of this side down for him and I will just help him out. This basket, he was like, if you're cleaning out under my sink, that's fine, but keep the basket. This basket, me and him actually made together on our honeymoon in Jamaica. There was like a basket weaving class that we took together and this, I cannot believe, is still even here. So that is how this looks. It's gonna look way better after I clean it. Let me show you what I purchased. Okay, so I have several of the things that I'm gonna use that is probably gonna help the situations down here. So one of the organizing cards I got from Amazon. This is from Amazon. And this one I put together in like five minutes. Like it was under five minutes for sure. It was really, really simple. And they do slide in and out like this. And it's, it got really good reviews, that's why I ordered it. But then I also wanted to try to get something from Target just to compare the two because I always like to, I don't know, I like getting different things that I don't, they don't necessarily all have to match. I like just trying new products. And then I can tell you guys like what my opinion is on said products. So this one came from Target. The drawers on this just kind of come out. They do slide out, but they just kind of do that. These do not do that. They're kind of on a track, which I kind of like. But now these are, see they slide out just like that. But these are bigger. These are wider than the Amazon ones. But you know what? I, 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 I don't mind these, I really don't mind these. And these do come with dividers. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I like the option of having them. It doesn't matter who gets what, it's wherever it fits, pretty much. Now this one is definitely going under my husband's sink because I'm gonna put the cleaning products in here. This I just picked up from Target. It is the Bright Moon brand. I think it was like $8 or something. So I'm gonna start going through what I got, get rid of anything I'm not using, and then just start organizing. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form gonna keep the Target one myself because I can use the dividers and also I already see my husband getting frustrated like when he goes to to pull it out like it's gonna come off altogether. So I think I'm just gonna keep these for myself. I'm the 
first one to get off at the station There's something in the air that I can't play And now I see a silhouette in the dark It's like time has stood still Okay, so this is basically all I have left. I can just either stuff it in there or I can really, really try my best to keep things organized and have just go and purchase another one of these little guys from Target. Hopefully they have this color and then I could just slide it on in here and make it more organized. So for right now, I guess, it should just keep this stuff in here. And then on my next Target run, I'll just grab that and that's it you guys look how much better this looks now as far as the drawers go um, I do have to be careful because it will fall forward but well actually it's kind of stained so that that's a good thing so I'm gonna see how the other shelves do in Dan's sink area look at this a trash can filled with empty stuff crazy and then I think I'm gonna donate hot curlers because I don't even, do people even use these anymore? I have no idea, but I remember using these a lot back in the day. Okay, let's go to work on this side. I cannot be judged. No, I won't have a day not playing this game. Okay, what is really sad about this situation is it's mainly cleaning products, but then there's also a corner over here that's my stuff, and I completely forgot about it. Oh, geez. Okay, so a lot of the cleaning products, I think, can be moved into our laundry room where I, where I hold a bunch of our cleaning stuff, and then just, he literally has nothing in here. <laughs> he has, for reals, nothing. He has that. That's it. Poor guy. thing now and I'm like how is he gonna even use this for anything if he has nothing uh, I don't know we'll, we'll try this out here I wanna make things right run away on this night do whatever we like we will see things clearly on top of the world is what we deserve reason for whatever reason I am myself up thinking this was gonna be like an all-day project I don't know why I do that that's probably why I tend to push projects off is because I think that they are gonna take way longer than they are literally 30 minutes that was it I could have done this years ago so if you ever need motivation 30 minutes literally that is it done how embarrassing the trees that I ordered for my entryway came in. They're in this really big box. I'm going to unbox it right now and show you what they look like. So excited to see. go any further I just want to show you how they are wrapped I get two trees and they are wrapped individually and they did a really good job of wrapping them um, so here's what it looks like I'm gonna pull this out
These are very, very sturdy. This is pretty heavy, so which is great. I'm not complaining at all. So they will hold up nicely in the front in the new planters I got. I'm gonna pull out the other tree and then just kind of see how they fit inside the new planters and figure out what I need to purchase to make sure that they actually stay inside the planter. Okay, so I have to hold this right here because inside this, inside the planter is like the little drainage area. So it's not gonna just sit right on top, but that's fine because I need to, I'm trying to get this a little bit higher anyway. So I'm gonna go purchase some bricks from like Home Depot or Lowe's just to make sure I get more, not only more height for the trees, but also to keep the planter more stable against like any wind elements or I don't know if I get an angry UPS deliverer. I have no idea, but just something to give it some more weight in here. Off we go. Absolutely not spring weather. It is wet, cold, and rainy, but I can at least make my entryway look, look the part. So I'm going to clean this area off and start putting up my stuff. I have my brick that I purchased for the planters in my car. So I'm just gonna start cleaning this all up. Just 12 bricks I, and so I'm gonna do six bricks per planter if I don't need the six if it's gonna be too high that's okay at least I have them here I'm just gonna start putting them in the planter Now I just need to go look for some moss to cover like the top of the planter itself and add the mat. Now my custom mat will not be in on time so I'm gonna put the one that I got from Joann's out here for right now. Joann's and I purchased four bags of moss so I'm gonna use the and this is the green moss I think there was like a like a brownish one that I could have used but I think green would look better and I also have this I've had this for like a year or, or two probably I don't even know what I was doing with it but I've held it I've had held on to it for so long so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this as a filler to put inside the planter and then put the moss on top Okay, that looks pretty darn good and it was less than one bag so which means I can take back the others now this does make a little bit of a mess so I'm going to have to use the leaf blower to blow everything off but it looks really good like this
All right, friends, that is it for today's video. A big thank you to Michaela at Our Little Bloom for hosting this spring collaboration. And be sure to go down to my description box and check out that huge spring playlist. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.